Well, it's February 5th, 2021, here at uh, Joseph Grant Park. Just entered onto the Washburn Trail off of Highway 130, Mall Hamilton Road. Take this Washburn Trail uh, really up into the hills. It's a heck of a climb. It was designed for four wheel drive Jeeps with horsepower. But fortunately, I'm on an e bike, which really helps out in these kind of situations where you have these steep fire roads that were cut for uh, horsepower engines. It's beautiful here. It's uh, a gorgeous day here in San Jose. So, you know, having the e-bike just allows me to get out and enjoy this wonderful wilderness uh, further and uh, more pleasant than when I was on my organic bike. Not to say I didn't like it for the 20 years that I rode it here, but this e-bike really does change the dynamics of your day and your ride. So I'm gonna head out and start enjoying it. Cruise up alongside that big old barn, which I think has some graffiti now. It's unfortunate, but graffiti's kind of everywhere now in San Jose. Nobody here, there, there isn't usually a lot of people here at Joseph Grad. We might see one or two people, that's it. And it's a gorgeous Saturday, absolutely gorgeous. And you're gonna see some of the best scenic uh, of the Bay Area. Okay, I've crested this uh, little knoll, so now we gotta dip down into a canyon. Not too bad, it's all gravel though. What a bummer, huh? Oh well. Still like it. This is kind of where it kills you, you know, when you're on an organic bike. You know, you're losing a lot of elevation with just you know, kind of an under well, uninteresting downhill, right? But this is like not as much fun as you would want after climbing the heck out of something. You'd want a lot more features and meandering and here comes a car for some reason, I don't know, but University uh, Cal Berkeley has uh, has some property here they study on. Maybe that's where he came from. You see, go to the right. I've been here once before. I mean, it just was not fun. It was not fun on a mountain bike. And I've been on some boring stuff. Mission Peak is a is a grind, and a lot of it. Grant is a grind too. Everything, you know, kind of is built for a Jeep with horsepower. Um, so the roads were cut in that respect. So something you work really hard to get up, you know, if you come down the same thing, it's, it's just not as rewarding as a nice mountain biking, meandering trail, in my opinion. But that's what this e-bike is for. It, it's for boring things like this. And now I can sit here and climb this steep hill that I would be working my butt off on my organic bike. Be able to talk. I still can get a workout. I get to enjoy the scenery. So it's all good with the e-bike. Etiquette, gotta have the same etiquette as your mountain bike. Same etiquette rules apply, nothing different. I can work a couple ways with this. Turn the power down. Muscle it up or turn up all the power and just start pedaling as fast as you can up this hill. Either way will get your your heart rate pumping. It's a long grind on this trail. This is just nothing. Uh, this is the gate here that leads into UC. Uh, you're not allowed to go in. I think you could get permission if you ask for it. But over here is a little sign yeah, Washborn Trail. You know, the trail is almost into, right here, a lot of people would not see the sign and, and really not look and say that's a trail. 
and they would stop here and go, what the hell happened? I thought I was on Washbourne Trail. Okay, now you can definitely see the trail. It's really beautiful up here. Just rained like crazy last week, so, you know, it's nice and fresh right now. But, yeah, pretty lucky to be here. Mountain biking in this weather is spectacular. At least the weather is spectacular. The trails, <laughs> now this is really one of the worst. You're, you're gonna see something brutal here. I mean, <laughs> you know, there it is. There's a marked pitch there. That <clears throat> S right there, uh, there's just no let up. Yeah, four wheel drive could make it, sure. All these years, they've never cut a new trail. You know, just help the hiker and biker out. You'd get more people here. That'd be the whole thing. Better access. This trail really is, I think, it, 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 it could be the, it's, it's probably, it could be harder than Mission Peak. That will be a challenge right there, even on this e-bike. I remember that on my organic bike, just, again, using 100% of everything I had. It was kind of scary putting that much into the, that particular effort, you know, for just an amateur guy out for a little ride. But let's see if the e-bike does better, it should. It's this one right here, this S, that uh, has a really good steep pitch to it. And it just doesn't cut you a break for what could be a good 100 yard dash. Here we go. Wow, that was everything right there. Man, that was everything. I didn't know if I was gonna make that. You know, when you're clipped in. Oh man. And this is the e-bike in turbo mode. Nope. Didn't want to go over the edge. Oh, man. Nasty. Okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, make that hill. Even on my e-bike, I just got off track and it was steep and I uh, was headed for a little overhang there. Didn't want to get into it. Man. Nasty. I mean, it is just wilderness. You're all alone out here. They had a fire here at 2019. My understanding, and I saw a lot of it, was all blackened at one point. And you can see there are a few trees across the way. But yeah, it's coming back to life. Beautiful, this February day. I think on the east coast they're having what they call a north nor'easter. Um, you know, big snow, wind storm, or whatever they go on there, but I'd call this day a nor'wester. The complete opposite. Absolutely beautiful day. You know, but that's San Jose, right? You know, they've got the Mediterranean climate here, so that's where humans like the best. Yeah, that's another wall. Might only be short though, but 
not exactly short, but take a rest here and see what happens. Ooh, baby, that was a climb. Oh, there's Slick Observatory. With the gleaming white domes on top of Mount Hamilton. It's always fun to make the ridge, you know, after a big climb. But a lot of times, you know, to explore beyond that on an organic bike is like, oh man, I don't know. I just did a huge climb, made the ridge. I'm ready for the downhill, back for a beer. But you know, when you got the e-bike, uh, I'm not gonna do it today, but I could be up for more riding, even after making that big climb where on my organic bike, I'd pretty well just be hoping to get back to the truck at this point. There's a nice bench overlook. Halls Valley of Joseph Grant Park. The largest park in Santa Clara County. Let's just go check this bench out. There's the gate that leads down into Deer Valley. See if this is in memorials of somebody. Uh, the co See you on the trails because the work is never done. The Gokey family. Yeah, they must have spent some time on the trails, uh, working on the trails, which is like so important for the enjoyment of hikers and bikers alike. Large park like this, which you're looking out over pretty much the expanse of the park, even on the other side of the ridge, that's all Joseph Grant Ranch. Everything you see right here is Joseph Grant. Uh, except right there where the observatory is, that is not. But it's a huge park. It's just amazing how few people come here. It's not that far from uh, San Jose, 30 minutes from downtown San Jose, 20 minutes from the East Foothills. And you know, here you are just like in the wilderness, you know, and to separate yourself on a beautiful February day here in San Jose, California, it, it's just a great feeling. That's what makes these e-bikes so enjoyable. There's San Francisco Bay out there. Oh, we'll start the downhill into Deer Valley. Again, I could expect some steep, steep downhills. Fortunately, the ground is really good. I mean, after the rain and everything, this clay soil, the pebbles and everything have kind of embedded into the clay yeah not, not the best trails but man the scenic aspect is just wow a loop basically it's a loop around Deer Valley this skirts the southern side of the valley They're pretty nice and green now after that rain we just had I'm sure the wildlife is digging it water green fresh squirrels are out in abundance And here's the trailhead to the Halls Valley Trail. It's one way only, so you can't go down that way. Stay on Canada del Pala. Okay, we've got the junction to uh, Los Ocos Trail. So we're gonna take the downhill, which is 1.7 miles. So it looks pretty good. The uh, gravel, gravel's embedded in the clay i think we're gonna have a pretty good run 